What's up guys, Jeff here, and before we jump into the content of today's video, I want to tell you about a new giveaway that we're going to be doing here on the channel. All you need to do to sign up is be a subscriber of Mad Hatter's Reef. Hit the like button on this video and leave a comment down below. And if you want a couple of shots, because this is a month-long contest, all you need to do is hit that bell so you can be in the know every time that we upload a new video and you can 4x your chances to win on every single video. Just need to be a subscriber. Make sure you hit the like button on each and every video and leave a comment. And this month, we are going to be giving away a three-month subscription to Mystery Reef Box. Now, if you guys don't know, this is my product that I've put together. It is a subscription box for Reef Tank Hobbyists. So that is going to be the contest for this month. And if you want to enter to win, we've already talked about that. And I'm not going to say it again because I've already repeated myself twice. And if you want to find out who won themselves the Seaside Aquatics digital meter, this guy does salinity. It does TDS. It also does temperature. Just stick around for this video because we're going to be announcing the winner in this video. So in today's video, what we're going to be talking about is the top five most stunning SPS corals. Now, when I put this list together, I was really trying to stay away from just putting a bunch of acros in a top five list. I wanted to put a couple of different ones in there. So we mixed it up a little bit, but there is some acros in this list because let's face it, they are some of the most stunning SPS corals out there. Coming in at number five on the top five most stunning SPS corals is the Rainbow Stylophora. Now this guy is probably one of the most beginner friendly corals on this list. So if you are looking to step up your game and get into SPS corals, a stylo is a great place to start. Not only that, it is a very attractive looking coral. As you can see in the picture here, you have that almost pinkish orangey base with those pink and bluish colored polyps. Very attractive, very stunning. Uh, asking price on this guy isn't too horrible. You can find them anywhere. It's from 20 up to about $40. Really depends on the size of the frag. And since we're talking about size of the frag, growth rate on this guy is moderate. So you can buy yourself a coral. It's going to grow out at a moderate level. It's not going to be some type of slow grower that's just sitting in your tank, not doing anything. As long as its requirements are met, you have some decent lighting and some decent water flow, you're going to find success with this coral, especially for those that are looking to just get started with SPS corals. Coming in at number four on our top five most stunning SPS corals is the Bubblegum Monipora Digitata. Now, this guy is absolutely beautiful. Its coloration is almost a mix of a couple different forms of a Monipora. And it looks like it almost has like that Superman thing going on, but not quite a forest fire. It is a really interesting combination of uh, things that we've seen in other types of corals. Now, the frag that you see towards the left, that is one that looks like it had been cut, or at least the tips have been cut off it, so you can't really see that green that starts to pop in on those tips, and that's why I included this little bit more of a grown-out one to the right, so you kind of get that full understanding of what this coral looks like. And just like number five, this is a, another beginner-friendly coral uh, that is a good place or a good stepping stone for somebody who's looking to get into keeping SPS corals. It is very forgiving. It's very hardy. My first SPS coral was a Digitata. I had a orange. I ended up getting a blue. Also had a green. They're very fast growing. They can grow incredibly fast. They have a very unique growth pattern, as you can kind of see with the one on the right. It's a little abstract. It's not very uniform like you can see with some acros. But ultimately, this guy is not going to break the bank. You can pick up a frag for $40, depending on the size, obviously. Uh, but that is going to add a whole lot of interesting growth pattern and amazing coloration to your reef tank and that's why this guy comes in at number four coming in at number three on the top five most stunning sps corals is the first acro and that is the oregon tort now this in itself is probably one of the most subtle of the corals on this list but if you have ever seen a grown out colony of this coral you know why it's on this list because this is probably one of the most absolute beautiful corals on this list when it is a full 
grown out colony. There just can't be enough things said about this coral from a beauty standpoint where you have that very light blue base into those almost purple polyps. Just absolutely beautiful. And if you have not had the privilege of seeing a full grown out colony of this coral when you do and enjoy it, it's a very, very beautiful coral. And I didn't really realize it until I put this list together, but I have been pretty much borderline obsessed of the Worldwide Corals Cookie Monster Acro uh, for a very long time. And I actually was kind of stunned to the similarities between these two corals being a lighter color base and then the polyps being a little bit darker. It's a little bit different between the two of them, obviously. Uh, one's predominantly blue and purple. The other one's almost like a teal and with a maroonish color polyp. But nonetheless, the Oregon Tort is an absolute showstopper. Uh, they typically can find one for anywhere from $60 on up. I think the best price, uh, the best size frag I've seen uh, in relation to price was about $100 per frag. Coming in at number two in our top five most stunning SPS corals is the All-Star Acro. This thing is phenomenal. Not only is it phenomenal, it's going to pack a punch in terms of coloration, as you can see here, but also in taking money out of your wallet. Not sure if that makes sense, but we're going to go with it anyways. As many high-end acros go, the price point is pretty steep, and we'll get into that here in a second. But let's enjoy the coloration of this frag before we learn about how much money is going to vacate our wallet. As far as coloration goes, you can see here the frag, even as small as it is, has some pretty interesting colorations. You have those almost maroonish, rusty colored polyps, and then that deep purple slash blue base. Absolutely beautiful. And you can see towards the right, a little bit more of a grown out colony there. And those polyps really start to pop as it gets larger. It almost turn into an orange, very similar to a Walt Disney, but all in its own, very beautiful coral. Price point, substantial. A frag of the All-Star Acro is going to cost you $800. That's a lot of money. With all that being said, the All-Star Acropora that is hailing from Worldwide Corals is one of the most stunning SPS corals out there. Even though that it does come with a pretty price, it is a very stunning coral. Coming in at number one on the top five most stunning SPS corals is and probably forever will be the Walt Disney Acro. Now this guy has definitely come down in price over the last couple of years due to its popularity and increase in aquaculture, which has brought it down to a more realistic price, unlike the one that we just talked about. But I imagine over time, the All-Star will come down in price as well. You can pick up a Walt Disney for the price point of $200 to $300, which at one point this coral was charging as much as $1,500 per frag. Now, as far as coloration goes with this guy, it is absolutely unreal. In many cases, a lot of the photos that you're going to see online, much like this one right here, the blues are cranking to really get those polyps to pop. But in a lot of cases, uh, this is a very, very stunning coral. I've seen one in person myself, and it was absolutely beautiful. As far as care level goes with this guy, you need to be on top of your game. It is a expensive coral, and you want to make sure that you can take care of it properly. And typical acro needs is high flow, high light, and pristine water. So I would definitely encourage folks that are out there that are looking to pick up a all-star or a walt disney be on top of your water game have your water quality under control and have a couple other sps corals under your belt before you go out and throw that kind of money at a coral and for me i'm taking my own medicine i have yet to buy a walt disney because i have set one too many sps corals more specifically acros on fire in my time in this hobby but until the day comes that I feel comfortable spending $300 on one frag, I will wait on the Walt Disney, but someday I would definitely like to have one in my reef tank. All right, folks, so we have reached that point in the video where we're going to announce the winner of the Seaside Aquatics Digital Meter. Now, this guy does salinity. It does TDS, total dissolved solids. It does temperature 
It is phenomenal. I use it on my tanks at home. And the winner is Heat Wave Reefer. You are the winner. Congratulations on winning a Seaside Aquatics digital meter. I'm sure it will serve you very well because it has done that for me. I absolutely love this thing. It is a great addition for any reef keeper. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure you hit the thumbs up. And if you want to participate in the giveaway, make sure you do all the things that we talked about in the beginning of the video, and you'll be in the running for next month's giveaway.